Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching videos of thermodynamics. In our last lectures, we have studied about thermodynamic coefficients. And now we will study about the relationship of thermodynamic coefficients with the different terms. First of all, we will see the equation of states in the terms of thermodynamic coefficients. Then we will see how we can correlate alpha, beta and gamma and then we will see how we can express the entropy in the terms of the thermodynamic coefficients. Okay, so let's start our lecture. First of all, see here, what is the first equation of state? That is pi t. It means internal pressure is equal to del u upon del v at constant temperature. Okay. And this is equal to t del p upon del t at constant v minus p. This is the first equation of state. Okay. Now we know that this del p upon del t comes in the terms of gamma. Gamma. Okay. Gamma is equal to 1 upon P del P upon del T at constant V. Right. So, we can write gamma P is equal to del P upon del T at constant volume. Okay. So, we can write this here. So, T gamma P minus P. Take the P common. So, we are getting P T gamma minus 1. Okay. It means del U upon del V at constant temperature is equal to P gamma T minus 1. This is our relationship of first equation of state with gamma. Okay. Now see the second equation of state is del H upon del P at constant temperature is equal to minus T del V upon del T at constant pressure plus volume. Okay. So, in this you have given del V upon del T at constant pressure. Del V upon del T at constant pressure. That means change of the temp volume with temperature at constant pressure. And this comes in the equation of alpha. Alpha is equal to 1 upon V del V upon del T at constant pressure. Okay. So, alpha V will be equal to del V upon del T at constant pressure. Okay. So, put this value here. So, what we are getting? Minus T V alpha plus V. Take the alpha common. So, what you are getting? V 1 minus alpha T. This will be the value of del H upon del P at constant temperature. Okay. This is the second equation of state in the terms of alpha. Okay. So, these are the two equations for the equation of states in the term of thermodynamic coefficients. Okay. Let's see the relationship between alpha, beta and gamma. We know alpha is equal to 1 upon V del V upon del T at constant pressure. It means alpha V is equal to del V upon del T at constant pressure. Right. Similarly, we can write beta is equal to minus 1 upon V del V upon del P at constant temperature. So, we can write del V upon del P at constant temperature is equal to minus beta V. Okay. Now, see the third one. Gamma. Gamma is equal to 1 upon P del P upon del T at constant volume. It means we can write gamma P is equal to del P upon del T at constant volume. Okay. Now, I have told you about the cyclic rule. In our previous lectures, we have studied about the cyclic rule. What was the cyclic rule? Cyclic rule says if P, T and V are three independent variables, then we can write them in this manner. Okay. Write here V, write here T and write here P. Okay. Cyclic rule says that del V upon del P at constant temperature into 
डेल पी अपॉन डेल टी एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम इन टू डेल टी अपॉन डेल वी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन ओके नाउ we know del v upon del p at constant temperature this one is equal to minus beta so we can write here minus beta v okay del p upon del t at constant volume this is equal to gamma p so we can write here gamma p okay and this del t upon del v at constant pressure we have given here del v upon del t at constant pressure so we can apply here the reciprocal rule it means we can write here one upon del v upon del t at constant pressure this will be equal to minus 1 okay now see here minus beta v gamma p okay and this term goes here on this side so we can write this will get in this manner minus del v upon del t at constant pressure okay this we can write this will be equal to alpha v okay this is equal to alpha v so we can write here minus beta v gamma p is equal to minus alpha v so this minus to minus will cancel out what we are getting v to v will cancel out and we are getting alpha is equal to beta gamma p okay so this is the relationship between the alpha beta and gamma okay so always keep in mind this relationship alpha is equal to beta gamma p now see the entropies in the terms of alpha beta and gamma now see entropy coordinate how can be represented in the terms of alpha beta and gamma see here we know del s upon del v at constant temperature see here this will be equal to firstly make the max one square s p t v h g a u okay from this you can write del s upon del v it means on this side this will be equal to del p upon del t at constant volume okay and we know this term comes in the formula of gamma what is the formula of gamma gamma is equal to 1 upon p del p upon del t at constant volume so this del p upon del t at constant v is equal to gamma p so we can write here this will be equal to gamma p okay now we know alpha is equal to beta gamma p okay alpha is equal to beta gamma p so we can write alpha upon beta is equal to gamma p okay so del s upon del v at constant temperature is equal to alpha upon beta this is the relationship of del s upon del v with alpha and beta and this is the relationship of del s upon del v with the gamma so these are the two relationships okay similarly you can find out if you are seeing secondly del s upon del p at constant temperature see here del s upon del p at constant temperature will be equal to del v upon del t at constant pressure and here pressure is on the opposite side so we put here minus sign now we know del v upon del t at pressure constant pressure is equal to alpha alpha is equal to 1 upon v del v upon del t at constant p so alpha v is equal to del v upon del t at constant pressure so this term will be equal to minus alpha v it means del s upon del p at constant temperature is equal to minus alpha v so this is the third relationship so these are the different expression for the entropy in the terms of alpha beta and gamma in question papers you may have been asked about this okay so in this way you will have to derive okay just you will have to derive don't learn them okay just remember them and just try to find them in the derivation okay so this is whole about the thermodynamic coefficients alpha beta and gamma 
Now the next thing is the heat capacity and how we can express heat capacity in the terms of alpha, beta, gamma. What is the correlation between the heat capacities? This we will see in our next lecture. If you are liking my lectures, please share these videos. Please subscribe the channel. Please comment me. Thank you.